everyone, it's Bonnie from Healthy Meals. I am going to make a special treat today. Um, for lunch, I wanted something that obviously isn't very good for you. However, it's something that you can make at home and make a little bit better for you. So I'm taking my cookie sheet, putting my foil on it so I don't have to basically cook and clean. It's going to be easy clean. Basically just take it, put my stuff on it, clean it, and then send the foil into the trash. And that's it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do today. Ham and cheese croissants. Know them? Love them? Me too. Alright, so here's what we do. I take the crescent rolls, and this is when I'm really being lazy. And yes, I know this is not the best thing possible for you, but one roll is only 100 calories. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a healthier version of this using these crescent rolls. So there are, where is the number, uh, eight of these in here. So we get to make eight little sandwiches. All right, so we roll this out and, you know, you get your, your little sandwich things here. Um, there are eight triangles, so we're going to put four triangles out. Serving size for this is going to be, you know, one roll per 100 calories. Okay, so you're looking at about 150 calories total between the cheese and the ham that we're going to add into it. So we have our four rolls here, and we'll get the other four going as well. Um, I just got some organic version or some healthy version. Basically, there's no sugar in this or no added sugar in this. Um, farm meat. And then, of course, three guesses what kind of cheese we're going to use. You know my favorite. Laughing Cow, 35 calories per slice or per wedge. And basically what we can do, because these triangles are so small, is we're just going to put a chunk of cheese in each one from one wedge. We're not going to put a bunch of cheese in here from three different, like put a wedge of cheese here and a wedge of cheese here. And Nope, we don't need to do that. Split this up. Put a wedge of cheese in each one of these puppies. And try to make it even. I mean, obviously it's a wedge, so it's not going to be completely even. But I try to make it as even as I possibly can get it um, in terms of the amount of cheese that's in it. Mm. And I don't know if you guys remember seeing this, but my laughing cow I always get with some spices. So this is garlic and herb. They have onion and parsley and a couple other ones. Um, and then we just take this. Here's my problem with some of these lunch meats, especially the Oscar Mayer ones when you're not sitting in a deli. Um, and having a deli guy do it, it's just sometimes it's really difficult to pull, the, pull this out. So here's what I do. See how small these things are? So we're going to just put it right on top of the cheese, and it's one slice per, because typically what ends up happening is as you do this, you end up with about two, sometimes three of these that you eat, which is, you know, considering it's only 300 calories, or yeah, 300 calories for two with everything added into it, um, that's not too bad. So you can actually do two of these in a little side salad. So here's how you roll these, is you take the large side, and the large side rolls first. That's how you get the crescent shape. There you go. So we're going to put that to the side. And then you basically just cook this as though you are cooking the crescent rolls. It is delicious. It's amazing. It's a great way great way to have your ham and cheese croissants without going and getting them from the French shop or the deli or having all the calories in it because you and I both know the amount of calories that is in a ham and cheese croissant mm -mm -mm. and it's really hot out here today so these suckers are sticking together um, something about the humidity in Texas Ugh. Things that goes to the food. So, four equals one laughing cow wedge. Okay. So basically, what ends up happening is you are going to take this, and 
you're going to have one Laughing Cow Wedge per four. Now, one Laughing Cow Wedge, at least the garlic and herb one, is 35 calories, okay? So now that 35 calories divided into four, you're looking at less than, what, seven calories, eight calories, something like that? So, not really too bad. And then you've got, you know, of course, your, your lunch meat. Um, and this is, you know, ne not necessarily something that you want to have all the time. But, you know, when you're craving something bad or something really carby, this is perfect. All right, so let's throw a little piece of turkey. And I got the, the Applewood smoked turkey. Just a little extra flavor. I don't know. Wanted something a little, a little different from the norm because I've had a lot of turkey and chicken lately. Um, and I know on some of these the ham is going to be sticking out, and that's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. Oven is heated to 375 degrees. So as soon as that's heated up, we'll stick these puppies in the oven. Um, the cheese will melt inside of these, so it'll kind of it'll spread out. Okay, um, so we just lay this out. These cook in about 11 to 13 minutes, and that's that's all you need. 11 to 13 minutes, and you're done. That's it. So I'll come back and show you what it looks like when we're finished. Here's our lunch. Doesn't it look delicious? Now what's going to happen is as you bite through this, you want to definitely let it cool. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of that golden brown. Definitely heated all the way through, which means that the cheese has melted within these. Um, so make sure when you're eating this, don't just bite into the center because that's where the cheese is. And cheese gets very hot, especially in the center of these. So look at that. Oh, how delicious does that look? So look at each one of these. You've got, um, I added it up. It's 122 calories per roll. Okay? So you could actually have three of these with a side salad, um, just some mixed greens, maybe some tomatoes or cucumbers, something light, and a vinaigrette, and you've got 400 calories. It's a perfect lunch, perfect dinner. You can save these. I'm going to actually wrap up some of these and um, have one or two for breakfast tomorrow morning. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is I actually have, or I used, the garlic herb version of the crescent rolls um, so when you bite into it it's like having a croissant sandwich with garlic on garlic bread um, definitely white flour but you know sometimes sometimes cost and flavor overrides that little tiny detail so enjoy your your ham and cheese aka turkey and cheese hot croissant rolls I will talk with you all tomorrow I hope you have a wonderful day